Hello. Welcome back, or welcome if you're new. My name is Anita, and I have got an unboxing today. I have gotten a pen that when I first saw it about, I think, six months ago, I knew I had to have it because it has, like, it has all my happy colors. All of my happy colors. I love this pen. So, finally, the universe aligned and I got the pen. It was always going out of stock, which I can totally understand. But I finally got it. And I'm so happy. I was so happy. I'm not going to lie. I unboxed it without you. But here is the box. It's a very pretty box. And the sleeve comes off to reveal a matte black Leonardo box. And once opened, another matte black Leonardo box with the usual Leonardo logo, warranty, plastic sleeve, and the cute little tag that hangs on, all safely tucked away in the box. I didn't know I was gonna have such a reaction to this, this pen. I, I love the Leonardo that I got for my birthday. I guess about three months ago. So, but it's the colors. Here she is. The Leonardo Furore and Aqua Petra. I love these colors. I love them so much. These are my happy colors. This teal and the purple, little magenta. I love it. I got it with a medium nib, which honestly I would have gotten broad and I made a decision that I did not care. I will take the medium nib. I don't mind medium, I just prefer the broad. But it's okay, I got, I got the pen and I'm so happy. I couldn't wait. So that was yesterday. Today's, what day is it? It's Wednesday today. So I picked up the pen on Monday and I opened it on Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. Let me just show you. She's so beautiful. I love these colors. I just love them so much. These are my happy colors. And I guess that's why I'm just so happy with this pen. I wanted either gold or I think rose gold trim was an option, but my preference was gold and I got it. And it's one and a quarter turns to uncap. And it's got gold trim, gold nib, not 14 karat gold, but it's stainless. It's so pretty. I love this pen so much. So as I said, I opened her up yesterday, cleaned, tested with um, Yamabuto. No, not Yamabuto. It was an Irishizuku ink. It was a gray one. Kirasami. There we go. And it was fine. Cleaned it. And I also picked up a new ink. My first bottle of Ferris Wheel Press ink. Aurora Realis. I love the color. And it's the first bottle I've purchased. I don't even sample the um, Ferris wheel press inks very often. I don't know, because I'm afraid of having a dry experience and I like a nice, wet, juicy experience. But I said, you know what? I'm gonna try her out in this pen and it's been good. I am going to post um, a swatch video of the Aurorealis ink, but she's already in this pen. Make sure I'm in the frame. Yes. I love this pen so much. I will show you um, comparisons with my other currently ink pens. I have um, a decent variety as far as um, price point and 
even styles, I guess. This is a cartridge converter pen, not a piston filler, and which means she looks like this on the inside. And she also has a blind cap, which I never thought I would use because I like to see what's going on. But um, I was forcing the ink out of my other pen and I didn't have to unscrew the barrel. I could just do it up here, which was super handy. I'm like, yeah, so I, there is a use for that blind cap. So let me do a quick writing sample. I love this pen so much. I love these colors. And honestly, my mind is awash with all the inks I could put in it. I love this pen. Okay, we'll do the usual, the quick brown box jumps over lazy dog. This is a shimmer ink, Aurorealis, and the, it feels good. The flow is good. The, um, the wetness is good. It doesn't feel dry at all. And like I said, I don't really try a lot of um, Ferris Wheel Press inks. They're so pretty, but I'm telling you, I'm paranoid that I was gonna knock the bottle over. It's just, they're not designed very practically, but they are beautiful. Anyway, this is the Leonardo Rore in Aqua Petra. And it's inked with Ferris Wheel Press. Aurorealis. And it's so wet and nice. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. I was gonna wait to ink this up, but when I saw the pen, I just, I fell in love. When I saw it in video, it was so pretty. And I just, I was like, I have to have that pen. But um, yeah, it, it was always out of stock. And then it just so happened that the timing and everything worked out. And so now I finally got her and I'm just so happy. Okay, let's compare it to some other pens. And yes, this is nice and wet and it feels so good in the hand. And if you've already got a Leonardo Memento Zero, it feels the same. I don't write with it posted. It's not necessary. The pen's long enough and I've got fairly large hands. So you don't have to post it. And I don't want to worry about, you know, damaging the resin over time. So let's just line these up. I've got now eight pens in my currently inked for the month because I've added this one. I love it so much. <sighs> Calm down. Okay. So the, sh the um, length, of course, and the shape, it's very similar to the Estherbrook SD. This is the Lilac. It is longer because of the um, conical shape on the finials than the Memento Zero, which it comes to a point, it's not flat. And um, I noticed the, um, the bands around the cap are very slightly larger than the Memento Zero. Just um, observations. The length is similar to the Twisby Diamond 580. And do I have an Eco handy? Yes, I've got an Eco handy. It's, um, these I think are a similar length. Yeah, very similar to that. Because I know for me, when I started down the rabbit hole, I didn't know what I wanted and I couldn't easily at the time just walk into a store and try different pens. And I didn't want to invest. It would already felt like a lot to spend $30 on a pen. It's just a pen, right? So to, to spend more than that, I'm like, how do I know? So I tried lots of um, Chinese pens. I guess I could say lots. Some of them were the same, <laughs> but that's for another video. So um, 
This is a um, Jin Hao Centennial 100. It is shorter because of the finials being um, conically shaped. But in hand, the Leonardo is a little bit heavier. I don't write with this post-it either. Let me get that out of the way. The um, Jin Hao 9016 is similar in length to this. And it's much, but it's fatter. There's more girth to it. These two pens I write with posted. This is a Platinum Placer, which I always write with posted because it's just a little too short unposted. As with the Pelican M205 in Appetite. It's, it's such a tiny pen, but you know, I don't mind it. It's great for me for um, short writing sessions, not long ones, because if I start to get, um, choke up on it a bit and it's just a little bit small for me, but it, it feels good. It's a good writer, but um, for the price point, for this entry level Pelican, when you're going high end, you're at the beginning with this pen, in my opinion. The size isn't for me. I, I'm better off knowing what this is like to wait for the pen that I know I would be happier with, which is a significant investment compared to this. So only God knows when that's coming. I don't know. It's not like I feel an urgency to, to buy um, a Pelican M800 or an M1000. Like, mm, no, I don't really care. You don't have to spend that much money to enjoy this hobby, which is what I love so much. It's really, you know, the nibs. And if you have a pretty pen, that's even better. And the inks. And it's so easy just to change your ink. So this is how they compare. And as I said, this is very similar in feel and body to these over here. It's very similar to the Leonardo Memento Zero and the Estabrook Esty. And fun fact, if you decide this is something that you have and you want more of them, of course, because they're all the same body, the Leonardo Memento, the Leonardo <laughs> Ferrares, and I'm sure it's the same with the Memento Zeros. The parts are interchangeable, so if you wanna take, say you have something that matches and it's a different pen, but the you wanna put the colors together, you can, just mix and match like you can with Jin Hao's and Sailor's and all those pens that are just like different colors of the same bodies. The parts can swap around. So I thought that was cool. So anyway, I love her so much. She is going to be in my April currently inked. So yes, that's it for today. I wasn't even going to make a video. I was first going to and then I got the pen and I didn't care anymore. <laughs> but there aren't a whole lot with this pen. So I said, Anita, make the video. You love her, make the video. Look, look at this. I definitely see my style evolving, but that also is for another video. But yes, I love her, she's amazing, and I am very happy with this pen. Thank you so much for watching and um, I'll have linked my currently ink so you can see what I'm working with for this month and thanks again for coming by and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.